Mixing Calligraphy Inks Mixing calligraphy inks can seem intimidating, but don't worry, all you need is some patience and a few supplies. In this video, we'll explain how to work with pigment powders and how to mix, dilute, or thicken calligraphy inks you already have. We'll give you general ratios to follow, but you can always eyeball the proportions and change the ratios depending on your nib and paper. Mixing inks from pigment powder. Mixing pigment powder and gum arabic allows you to control the texture and consistency of your ink. The rule of thumb here is to use a 4 to 1 dry pigment to gum arabic ratio. The gum arabic can be liquid or powder. It won't affect the performance of the ink either way. Let's start mixing. Add 1 teaspoon of pigment powder to 1 quarter teaspoon of gum arabic and stir in a small container. Add one teaspoon of water. Stir thoroughly until you don't see any lumps. Now you have your very own Perlex ink. Mixing powder pigments into inks. You can also blend Perlex into existing inks to make shimmering ink. To start, measure out a half teaspoon of Perlex into a container and add a small scoop of gum arabic. With the stirring stick, we measured out a small amount of gum arabic, roughly one-fourth of the Perlex we used. Pour one teaspoon of your ink of choice into the mixture. Stir until you don't see any lumps. Ta-da! You just created your own shimmering ink! Creating new colors by mixing existing inks. You can also create new ink colors with this method. Generally, it's okay to combine inks within the same brands. Start with a lighter ink and add drops of the darker ink color to it. Use a pipette to gradually add drops of the darker ink. Stir the mixture. Keep adding ink until you get a color that you're satisfied with. Diluting inks. Some inks and paints are just too thick to work with straight from the bottle. For example, Dr. P.H. Martin's Pen White ink is a favorite amongst calligraphers after it's diluted. First, pour the ink into a small container. Add a few drops of water to the ink and use a stir to mix the solution thoroughly. We recommend a 3 to 1 ink to water ratio. Experiment with the water to ink ratio to see what consistency works best for your paper and nib. Thickening ink. Thickening your ink with gum arabic can help with issues such as feathering and bleeding. It can also turn a fountain pen ink like Noodler's Apache Sunset into a dip pen ink. You can use either liquid or powder gum arabic. Begin by measuring out one teaspoon of ink into a small container. Then, add a quarter teaspoon of gum arabic. Mix until you don't see any lumps. Generally, use a 4 to 1 ink to gum arabic ratio to thicken your ink. Voila! Your ink is ready! Add more gum arabic to your mixture if it bleeds or feels too thin, and add more ink if it feels too thick. Want to learn more about mixing calligraphy inks? Check out our blog in the description box below. Thanks for watching!